All right, in this video, I want to show how to create or add the version number in your application using a C++. So as you can see right now, my version number is up here on the top left at 10.0.1. Um, so the uh, how we, you, we can find this if you go in your project setting, you search for a version and you're going to get the project uh, uh, version here. You can change that number and it will uh, appear on the top uh, top left of your application as I just showed before. Now I just restart the application and we can see this as 1.2.0.1. All right, so let's dive in and let's see how we can do this. So you, we're gonna, I'm going to use the versions 5.2.1 to uh, to the demonstrate that. So you can do this with any kind of uh, type of game. So I'm going to choose a third person version. And I'm going to use a blueprint. So because I want to convert this to a C++ application uh, down the road. So I want to see the full uh, process in order to do that. So just start the application. So as a regular one, everything is there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a HUD. So I'm creating a folder demo, adding a HUD, a widget, uh, call it WPP HUD. So uh, when you open it, uh, you just got start by adding a canvas. I'm going to add a canvas and also just using a simple text in order to display the version number. I'm going to call this uh, version text and we're going to make it as a variable. And that's where the magic happened on even construct. I use uh, this uh, version text and I'm going to set the text as uh, the version. But for now, I'm just going to put uh, unknown because I don't have the version number yet. I didn't uh, create the code yet. So let's start that. So uh, we're going to also add this uh, uh, HUD on the level blueprint by doing uh, creating the widget. And then I'm going to add the HUD on the, using the, um, the simple function add to viewport. So that's very basic. So everybody have a, use a HUD before we'll know how to do that. So now we can see the HUD is on the top left. I'm going to use this as a standalone application just to get it better. So top left, it's unknown for now. All right, so uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to just uh, check the version number. Uh, the one thing to important is by default, it's 1.0.0.0. Unfortunately, uh, this version will not uh, will not be available in your project uh, default game any file. So that's where it's going to be stored. But if you change for just one digit, it will then be automatically saved. So as you can see now, it's appearing in that file. And that's what the C++ class uh, or function uh, is going to do is to read that file and bring back uh, this uh, version number. So I use a Vercar uh, suggestion. So just to go simple, he had a function and he used a simple get string uh, inside of a product uh, project version. And it's using the game ini. So it's a very simple thing. So shout out to uh, Vershaka. <laughs> so let's start by adding a class. So you go in the build tools, add blueprint function library. You do this. You kind of create your library here. I'm going to call this uh, give get version project. So automatically is going to uh, change my uh, application, my game as a C++ and I suggest to start the IDE and stuff like that. I don't recommend to do that uh, from uh, Unreal Engine. I don't know. It, it's rarely work fine for me. So I try it and it doesn't start uh, for odd reason. Visual C++. So I'm going to do it manually opening the file. You do, do a, you just re rebuild or generate your project file. It's going to generate a SLN file, which is already appeared there. And when it's done, you open it and then it's going to bring Visual Studio. And now, now that, that's where we're going to add all the information. So there's a U function we need to add and also the code related to that. So when you start it, now our game is being a C++ uh, uh, version. So you go under platform. I know it's a platform. Is it? Uh, it's source. I think it's source. Yeah, source. And then you find a library we just create. So we have the C++ file and the header, the .h. So we're going to start with the header. So we're going to use the function um, u function. So it's it's kind of a macro for uh, specific for Unreal Engine. It's not really C++, but it's kind of a macro thing. And we also can use, instead of using uh, the blueprint callable, we're going to use uh, pure. So that's going to make just just a function that retrieve the information we need. So there's no need to be part of a, a full workflow. And also, we're going to have the code right there. So I'm going to copy this, go in my C++, adding my code. And also, I'm going to have to change the header of the function. So I forgot to change this. So let's do that. 
I'm going to pick up uh, how I named the class. The class is U version project library. I use this, pass this there. Uh, whoops, okay, pass this there. And then when it's all done, we just have to recompile the whole thing. And it's going to take a few seconds. And now it's, oh, it's starting the Unreal Engine editor while it's compiling and we're going to be in the engine. So now being in the engine, so the C++ class has been created or the C++ function. So we just have to call it now. So I'm going in my uh, function and I'm looking for what was the name of the class again, get app version. So I'm just looking for get app version. It's right there. It's going to retrieve my string I was looking for. So as you can see, this is not a, it's, it's not a callable, it's a pure. So that's why I just get out the string like this. Now we're going to compile and we're going to run the game and we should see the version number appearing on the top left. There we go, 1.0.0.1 instead of unknown. So it works. And if we just change the version, we put it uh, 1.002. It's going to should be updated. There we go. It's updated at 1.0.0.2. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.